So it was about a year and two months ago we were going into the soccer game against Hanover, our biggest rival. And so we all knew that it was a big game and it was really important to all of us to come out with a win. And we went into the game and we were all motivated and it was near the end of the first half. I was dribbling down towards the corner of the field hoping to get a cross off so we could end the first half with a goal. And I got stuck there and I was shielding the ball and a girl from the other team, Hanover, came up from behind and she pushed me quite hard. And I remember my knee just collapsed inward and I heard a lot of snaps and noises coming from inside there and a lot of pain. And I knew instantly that there was something wrong. My dad drove me to the emergency room and um, right when I got there, they did the general information stuff, and then they took me really quickly, actually, and um, took some x-rays. They did a general synopsis of what was wrong, and they said that I uh, strained my MCL, and probably other things were wrong, too, but they couldn't tell from the x-rays because there was still a lot of swelling, so it was hard to tell. The people at the ER set up an appointment with Dr. Carlson, and... So I went there a few weeks later and the swelling had gone down and it was more visible for her to see what was wrong. So she did some more x-rays and some tests with pulling on my leg and moving it side to side to see what else was wrong. And she decided that it was actually a strained MCL like the ER had said, but also a torn ACL and part of my meniscus was torn as well, which she could tell from the x-rays. When I first met with Dr. Carlson, through the sports medicine, um, she immediately asked me about sports and my history with them and how everything happened. And she knew that it was really important to me to get back as soon as I could. And she understood because I'm sure she was an athlete as well. And so she understood my needs to a quick recovery and but the importance of making sure that it all goes smoothly. After Dr. Carlson told me that, gave me the option to have the surgery, I met with um, Dr. Carr first, and we had set up appointments with other surgeons, but after I met him, I felt really comfortable with him and doing the procedure. I was really nervous before the surgery because I'd never been through anything like this, but um, he met with me before along with other nurses who were also very comforting and assured me that it would be okay. And I just remember them putting the IV in and waking up afterwards, and I didn't feel anything. And when I woke up, there wasn't a lot of pain right when I woke up because there was still, still a lot of medication in me. The day after the surgery, you have to meet with a physical therapist. So before the surgery, I decided that I was going to stay right with Dartmouth and it would be easiest to do that. And they told me that they had a few really good physical therapists. So the one that I chose was Steve Vicente. And he was like the best person I could possibly have asked for to do my physical therapy. And I met with him the day after and... I was in a lot of pain that day, and the first thing he had me do, I just felt really comfortable with him, and I knew he was going to be great, and I worked with him for six months, I guess you could say, so it was kind of, we kind of built like a friendship, I guess you could say, because I saw him a few times a week for a long time. After about six months, I was allowed to start to play sports, and at that time it was softball that I was playing, so I started out doing like just straight line running and a little bit of batting and catching. And then I remember playing in my first game and everything went really well. And I just had all my confidence back because I knew that I could do it. I started soccer in the summer before the season. We have a team that would plays at Plainfield. And that went really well. My first game out actually was probably one of the best games I've played in my entire life. So. That was really exciting to go out and be as good as I always was. And so then the summer went really well, and then I went into tryouts, and I knew we had a really good team going into the season. And we all worked really hard, and I played throughout the whole year, and I think every game, and nothing ever went wrong. So we ended up winning the state championship, so I guess it was a really successful year. <laughs> and then now going to cross-country skiing, I feel strong from soccer. I'm really prepared to have a great season in that as well. So The orthopedics program at Dartmouth is really great. After going what I was through, went through, and seeing how successful it was, um, 
I think it's great because everything worked out for me and I know a lot of other people have gone through Dartmouth and had really successful um, surgeries as well. So I would, and then the physical therapy was just amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better experience there.